Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Innkeeper, and today, as the title states, I will be talking to you all today about my channel and where it stands. So, I will be taking a hiatus from the channel, essentially. So, this means that I'm not going to be posting videos or live streaming on Twitch. I don't know how long it's going to be for since this break is mostly due to the channel's current theme being a channel predominantly about sandbox sort of uh, creative style games with a few turn-based RPGs thrown into the mix. I found myself veering away from these games more and more this sort of past year and I've been moving on to sort of my, my sort of original gaming roots as it were with sort of faster paced FPS and RTS kind of thing and it's a bit different to what this channel is really about which is why I think this hiatus is a good idea because I don't want just to suddenly I don't want to just suddenly change the type of content I make all of a sudden I think I'd rather have a bit of a sort of break between it first just for myself I suppose I mean the reason I started doing sort of predominantly creative games was Minecraft really because that's the game that really sort of opened me up to my sort of more creative side and I've been very thankful and very happy for that to be honest because I have enjoyed it over these sort of the time that I've been sort of making or, or playing these types of games so I, I would say don't get me wrong I have moved away a little bit from them but I still enjoy games like uh, you know sandbox sort of creative style games prison architect minecraft stone herb timber and stone I just don't like them or I, I don't enjoy them or look forward to them as much as I used to to the point, I think, where I, I don't feel like having a channel centered around it. I feel like it takes more dedication to to make that kind of content than I'm willing to put out anymore, I think. Just because I don't enjoy it as much. And I, I I find myself not looking forward to it. Like I said, when after work, it feels more like a chore to me. Like it's a daily chore I have to get through before I could do something I like. Like uh, live streaming something on Twitch, Fortnite or PUBG or something like that. Just because I'm really enjoying those types of games right now. I still enjoy them. Just like I said, not enough to have a channel themed around them anymore. I also don't really like the kind of content I'm producing. Not necessarily the, the games itself. It's more the... The, the style, I suppose, of the channel and where it sort of ended up. It's always been predominantly a Let's Play channel. The first videos I made were Let's Play videos. But they also had some unique content thrown in there that I really enjoyed. Whether it still might, some of them might still be little Let's Plays here and there. But they might be shorter versions of Let's Plays. Or they might be um, comedy sketches. I'd make a few of those every now and again time-lapse videos. I still make them, but not as predominantly as I used to, mostly because it's a big time sink and I don't necessarily have that time anymore, which is a, a real shame, I would say, because looking back on my older content with all the time-lapse content, I was like, whoa, how did I build all this stuff? You know, what the hell am I doing? That must have taken forever, and it did. You know, even looking back on the Castle Story content, I recall each build taking 7 to 12 hours, and it was just so long, and I don't have that time anymore. <laughs> There's no way I would do that. It's just too much. I, but it's... That's what the channel's sort of become, though. It's become sort of a general Let's Play channel with a standard daily video schedule, I suppose. And it's always, it's always been that way. And there's nothing wrong with that. Whenever I look back on the channel, I don't look for, you know, Stone Hearth episode 36 or... Prison Architect episode 47, you know, anything like that. I look for the content I worked hard on and put passion into making, like those, uh, like recently, those Twitch highlight videos. I used, I did a little bit of editing, fun editing with those that I really enjoyed. And I look back on those and think to myself, I learned something doing this, or I enjoyed making this video because I found parts of it to be funny, for instance. Just small things like that that make a video more worthwhile to me than just, you know, uh, one part in a long, long series. And I think that's also a big problem that I've had with the channel. It's long-form Let's Plays. It's not just short. It's not just 30 episodes and that's it. I go on until the end. It's like an impulse for me. I have to finish it. It's annoying. And I think that's more of a personal problem I have. It is just an impulse. I must finish 
this before I move on. Because otherwise I feel like I'm disappointing people. Like they want to see the final product. And to be honest, I do as well. You know, I look back on Timber and Stone Season 3. That series, that series was two years old. But damn is every now and again I look back on the actual save I've got and the video. And I just, I just feel all giddy like I accomplished this. It's so cool looking. And I just get nostalgia, all the memories and all the little parts. And I suppose, in a sense, I get... I remember parts of a, a series just from watching the final product, the last video as it were, because I tend to make those a bit longer and I tend to sort of overview the whole thing. I do enjoy looking back on those. I know a lot of YouTubers don't like looking back on their older content and they get kind of cringy, but to be honest, I don't get that. I look back on it and just think, you know what, well, I, I was at this point in my life at this time and I'm nostalgic for that and I kind of like that where I am now or how I've changed or how I've improved. I don't find it really uh, cringy, is what people... That word is overused like crazy. I kind of hate it. I mean, it, it's not misused, I would say. Although, I guess in some contexts, it probably is. But, oh well. It's it's the, the hip thing to say now. I'm losing uh, I'm, I'm losing focus now. Well, what was I saying? <laughs> Where am I? Anyway, so... Um, yeah, I remember all the editing involved and the time-lapse videos and stuff like that. And that, those were very fun. And th those are what I look back on. When I, uh, I look back on, on look back on the channel, that's what I notice, and it's a lot of older content. So these past two years, it's sort of stagnated. The channel has to a predominantly let's play format. I'd still make unique videos every now and again, but it wouldn't be of the the same quantity, as it were. So that's that's generally what I look at, and like I said, it reminds me of how much work I put into the videos back then. To be honest, I also had a lot more time back then, so I'll give myself a pat on the back. I'm sure if I had more time now, I would put in the same amount of effort, but I guess that's just a, you know, it's a part of life, it's a part of growing up, isn't it? You, you sort of have to be a part of the world, don't you? And unfortunately, that means you don't have as much free time, which is a shame, <laughs> but it has been like six years nearly or something, so quite a lot of my life I've, I've spent on this channel, which is quite a nice thought, I suppose, to to be able to, to pay so much attention and to, to really go through with something that is, at the end of the day, it's a hobby. It's a it's a really fun hobby that I, I do enjoy, but I think it um, I need to sort of change my style a little bit more because I don't enjoy it as much as I think I should, and I find it to be more of a chore than I think it ever should be because it's meant to be a hobby, isn't it? You're meant to enjoy it. I suppose that's what the hiatus, well, I say suppose, that's what the, the hiatus video is for. But uh, I keep getting, um, I keep off tracking. Every time I make these update videos, I lose focus, I lose track of what the hell I'm talking about because I go on a tangent. I, I could talk to you for hours about each video and all the background work around them, but I, I want to keep this, this short. You know, not like three hours of oh, going on a hiatus and just accidentally repeat myself seven times, which has probably already happened. There we are. Now, I'm not just going to walk away from the channel without finishing everything. So some of you would have noticed, maybe, you should have if you're watching anyway. I I made this decision, well, you probably wouldn't have noticed this. I made this decision about two months ago to go on the hiatus. And I've been working hard to finish everything off. I didn't want to just walk away and leave everything you know, half finished because... I don't want to disappoint anyone. That's the last thing I want to do. You know, I want to, I want people to sort of look back on this channel and think to myself, this guy worked hard. You know, he, he enjoyed what he did and he wanted to sort of take it through to the end. And, you know, that's what I want. I, I, I like the thought of that. I like to look on myself as that kind of person that finishes things off and doesn't just sort of leave it behind. I mean, sometimes I do that, but, <laughs> but for the most part, I, I don't when I'm very much passionate about it. So everything's done. The Battle Brothers Next Com Twitch series, they've both been completed. The Kingdoms and Castles, Stonehearth, Berryfield series, and the Prison Architect Mega Max V2, which had a very fun end. I'm quite surprised myself, because even though I was a bit tired of Stonehearth and Prison Architect at this point, the final episodes I really enjoyed. I think it's just because for me, I knew I was going to go on a hiatus, and it felt like sort of... Not necessarily an end, but a sort of nice bit of closure, I think, for me in the channel. Just making... They were both one hour long as well, but they were very enjoyable. We did some fun things with them. 
And then it's just always looking back. And I'm, I'm a very nostalgic person, so I just thought about all the other series I've done with those two types of games. It's, it's been good. It's been really good. It's been amazing. And it's not just been good. It's, that word does does undervalue the the entire experience with this with this channel. But yeah, I, I don't want to disappoint anyone, which is why I did that. So it's two months. I've grinded through it. It's it's been good, and I, I wouldn't say I'm completely tired of it yet, which is why I think I want to go on the hiatus and change things around now before I get to a point where I do just walk away <laughs> out of pure frustration. So I think I'm making the smart move for for myself, mentally speaking. And this, you know, this wasn't an easy choice to make. You know, I made this choice two months ago, but I was thinking about it for months before I finally made the decision. It's a hard choice to make, you know. It's it's not necessarily that you're giving up on six years of sort of, uh, I suppose, building. You know, six years of channel building. You know, it's like a hobby. You know, giving up on something as big as, you know, maybe you've been working on a car for that long and you've got all the parts and that lot. It feels weird just to stop doing it because it's been such a prominent part in your daily routine for such a long time. It's like finishing off a, a series, uh, you know, a TV series or something. You feel kind of lost. And I, I'm, I'm interested to, to, you know, know what it was like, actually, to not have this to do in the background. I'm probably going to find another hot... i got too much stuff to do. i got too much stuff to do. <laughs> it's going to be a very busy year for me. To say the least, which is another big reason why the hiatus, I think, is necessary for me. Because the channel has been a distraction, I won't lie. It has distracted me from a few things in my life that I should have really got done and the need to be needs to be done. Uh, not completely. I've been able to do quite a decent amount of my life. And to be honest, I'm quite a steady person. I, you know, I don't really go out and socialize that much. And that's not necessarily me. But I would like to do a little bit more, I think. And also, not to mention, it's it, I like you know, it makes me feel a bit more stable. I think having this as a hobby, because otherwise, I'm just going to be sort of sitting around not doing much with uh, free time, which I probably won't have much of anyway. Considering I'm going to be going through a few life changes, which is exciting. There we are. The channel has been going on for almost six years, though. I have to. I don't know why I keep repeating that to myself. It's, I didn't think it would be that long. I thought I would just do this for like a year or a half, maybe get bored of it, finish it up, walk away. Not even finish it up, just walk away. <laughs> but, but no, no, I have been pretty much sticking with it for six years because I have just enjoyed it. It's been really fun. And Merv is chewing at the door. Why do you have to chew at the door? This is meant to be. This is meant to be an emotional parrot. You want to get involved? Come on. Talk to everyone. You can't just sit around. Come on. Hello, Merv. No, you're going to be quiet, are you? Anyway. It's strange that a hobby such as this can have such a connection with you. I know it sounds kind of cheesy, but it feels like it's sort of taking away a part of myself a bit. I don't know. That's just sort of the feeling I get. I make it sound like I'll never come back, don't I? <laughs> yeah, I make it sound like that, don't I? <laughs> like this is the end. I will, I will most probably be coming back. I still love the idea of Twitch streaming, and definitely, I really do enjoy Twitch streaming. And eventually, going back to YouTube. However, the content will be very different. I've been playing a lot of uh, Fortnite Battle Royale lately, and I'm enjoying that that game immensely. Even if I do sometimes get salty, which is more of a personal problem I need to get over. That is a problem I have. Getting salty is... I'm like trying to to sort of meditate my way out of it. Not, just, not I don't really meditate, but uh, it might not be a bad idea for me, to be honest. But it's, it's just a mind game, isn't it? You just got to sort of get yourself over that hurdle and just try to be sort of objective with yourself. Because getting angry is a very sort of... I, I don't want to say narrow-minded or subjective viewpoint on a game but it's more sort of overcoming that frustration with more sort of constructive thoughts I would say the hiatus however should give me some time to to think and rest I'll be going through some life changes as I said hopefully 2018 is going to be a big year I like to think these last sort of two years 16 and 17 they've been kind of stagnant for me I've not really done very much 
I'll probably be getting a new job as well, and potentially I'll be renting out my own place if uh, things all come together. I really hope they do, because I can really do with my own place. Uh, the main issue with that, however, is that uh, I've got to find a place that is okay with exotic pets, because this, this sodding parrot, he's loud, he's proud, and it basically means I can't get any shared accommodation, which, to be honest, I don't want anyway. But it is the cheapest sort of form of accommodation. So I basically need to find a new job and also have it pay well, which is probably not going to be the case. <laughs> so, yeah, that's more of a, like, a hope. Not necessarily a, it's going to happen. It's more of, like, a, a thought I've had that I would very much like to do for 2018. I'm excited, but incredibly petrified at the same time. I like things to be steady. So doing this is pretty much the opposite. But we'll see what happens. Change is good sometimes, so that's, you know, something I've got to keep reminding myself of. As for you all watching and the people that have been visiting at the inn over these sort of past six years, it's been a really great six years with 1,880 videos. 1,880 videos! There's so many videos! I keep forgetting just how many of them I've got uploaded. I looked at it today and it's like, what? That's how many? I always just forget and then get excited or I get amazed at just how much content is on this channel. It's insane. Not to mention, I had to delete, I think, two or three series from way back when because I think EA was cracking down on some videos at that point. So they're all copyright strikes. I just got rid of them instead of dealing with it because it was much easier to do that. Parrot, leave the door alone. He keeps mucking around with that sodding door. It's just, <laughs> like, you're probably not going to miss that. And he keeps losing my train of thought because he keeps chewing on it. Stop it, bird. You're being rude. I'm going to have to hold him here. The channel has really helped me get past some difficult times in my life. Really improved my anxieties and social skills for the better. I've met some really great people to share my passion of gaming with along the way as well. Which has also been fantastic and unexpected of me as well being sort of the, the social introvert that I am. I never thought I'd be able to actually do that. But I've been able to do it, and you know, especially these last two years, I think I've definitely, I'd say, opened up a bit more socially, which is very good, especially of myself, because like, like I said, I'm not usually that kind of person, so it's always nice to, to see that kind of improvement. And I think if I didn't start the channel all those years ago, I'd be a very different person today. Very different. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, I can't thank you enough. It's been great. It's been awesome. I would also like to send a special thank you to Merv for being an awesome channel mascot. Then again, even some of you might also... Some of you might consider me the mascot, now that I think about it. Some of you consider him the host. To be honest, I don't know anymore. <laughs> really, I don't know, okay? But anyway, like I said, I could talk for hours. But I would rather keep it short and simple. It's only been 20 minutes already, which is just 10 minutes too long. I, I ramble and ramble and randall. Randall? No, ramble. Who's Randall? Merv? Who's Randall? You get back here, then fly away from me. He's been cheating on me with Randall. I knew it. <laughs> well, don't yell at me. This is meant to be the outro, you sodding bastard. I find out you've been cheating on me with Randall. Talk to me with this Randall bastard. Anyway... <laughs> that was that was random. I've been the innkeeper, and this has been Merv. Hopefully, you can actually hear him. The microphone through Audacity is a little bit different. But this has been Merv, and I look forward to seeing you all again in the near future. Some more lovely content, and some weird parrot noises along the way. Hmm? What do you think, Merv? Think that sounds good? Yeah, he's not really talking. He's looking at me. He looks like he's about to talk, but I can't really tell. But at least you're just copying me now, I suppose. So that's fine. You're being a parrot. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye. Say bye, Merv!